Hi everybody, I'm James. I'm Paul, and of course our travel companion Chompers is with us. Lounging on a log. And we are in upstate New York. What's the name of the state We're park? at Robert Treeman State Park. It's just south of the Cayuga Lake. Uh, correct, which is in the Finger Lakes region. In the Finger region. Lakes region. We are just, what, five or ten miles from Ithaca, Ithaca New York. The town of Ithaca, Which New is York. fun to say, Ithaca. <laughs> Ithaca. Ithaca. So at, the, at this state park, we're at the campground. It's very easy to get into right off the main highway. Easy, level, fairly level sites. We didn't need to do too much leveling. Some of the sites are rural and some of them are electric only. None of them have water and sewer. Uh, but there is a dump station and there is water available if you need to fill up your rig. The campground is built along Enfield Creek. Enfield Creek, yeah. And there's hiking trails along the creek and a series of waterfalls. So, unfortunately there wasn't a lot of rain this um, season, so the waterfalls were not as spectacular as the brochure. There's a swimming pool, swimming hole, I don't know what you want to call it, at the bottom of one of the falls, which was very, very popular for day use as well. Diving board, lifeguards on duty. Um, that was really cool to see. <laughs> It was fun to watch people I having mean, fun. I mean, it's a natural swimming pool. The, this, whole, the whole park is very family yeah, friendly. Yeah, this is a very, very family friendly park, especially <laughs> the day use. Um, yeah. And the swimming pool is really the heart of it all, really. And right next to our campsite was a large play playground, so you saw lots of kids in this campground. Right. There is hiking up each side of the creek where you can see more waterfalls, and you can go all the way to the upper park and back again. In the Finger Lakes region, there's a lot of different campgrounds. There's state campgrounds, there's private campgrounds, there's a lot to see in this region, and we really just tap the surface. All of them are really, really busy in the summertime, so we were very limited in our choices. There are a couple other ones that looked like they'd be really cool choices too. We just could not get into them. So if you are planning on visiting this region, plan early and read about a lot of the different parks and what they all have to offer. It seems like this is the land of waterfalls, uh, but some of them are built right along a river, some of them are in gorges, some are along lakes, so do your research. Everyone we met seemed to have an opinion about, did you go to that campground? I know, campground? I know, so exactly. Learn about what you want to do and, and go there. So James, what would you read this Well, campground? this campground, not particularly our style, although I do like water and the hiking and the, and the swimming and all that, it's very, very family friendly. You know, it's just kind of not used to hearing all the kids screaming <laughs> day and night. It's a little rough around the edges. I'm gonna give this a six. Ooh, that's it's pretty low. location is great. Well, I don't give tens, so consider that. <laughs> I don't like, I don't believe in perfection. Um, if you like the hiking and the hike up the creek and the waterfalls, it's nice. There's a lot of nature. The the shower house, the bathrooms are, are not well kept. Okay. Um, it's, I think it's a heavy use campground, yeah, but yeah. it's just a little bit not um, as tidy as uh, it could be, let's just say. I would give it a 7.5, and the reason for that is uh, the location is really nice, uh, right along the creek. It is a little rough around the edges. I'm kind of bummed it doesn't have water at the sites for RVs, so you know, with just electric, we're basically boondocking with water and sewer, which right. means we can't stay for a long period of time. And I don't think there's fresh water at the dump station either. We have so to check that out. Somewhere on site is fresh water to fill hopefully. up, uh, but yeah, that limits our, our time here. Uh, with not having that, without having those facilities. But having said that, if you're discovering the Finger Lakes region, there are so uh, many campgrounds to choose from. Yeah, and you know what? I would probably campground hop. You know, maybe do a couple of different ones and, and get a different taste right. of the region. You know, we just we're just here for a short period of time, so we're just kind of getting a taste. Maybe next year when we come back here, we will figure it out and check out some different campgrounds and get a different flavor. They all have hiking to offer. They all have sites and things to do. Exactly. Um, this is in the place where we spend two or three days relaxing at our campsite after we've done the hiking. So I think yeah. the hopping is a great idea. I think it's a good idea. So if you are in the area of the Finger Lakes yeah. in New York State. Do your research and stop by. plan early and stop by and check out this area. It really is beautiful. Oh, and Ithaca's got wineries and breweries, yeah, yeah. I hear. So there's yeah. lots of stuff to do in Ithaca as well. Ithaca. It's fun to say. You love saying that. I do. All right, everyone. Travel safely. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, hit that subscribe button and notifications. And check your notification settings on your iPhone. Uh, otherwise, if you don't have them turned on, those notifications mean nothing. Yeah. If you turn them on, then you get a notification anytime we do a new video. So thanks for watching and travel safely. Take care, everyone. Bye. Bye.